the three keys to building a business are consistency, discipline, and burning desire. Welcome to episode number 77 of the Next Level Podcast. I'm Karen Barner, your host. Next Level Podcast is for women seeking to take their confidence to the next level or reclaiming their confidence and starting to build the life of their dreams in their most powerful way to become the woman they are meant to be, to find their blue rose. There's three keys to building and starting a business. And whether you're building your own business, you're working for somebody, these three keys resonate regardless. The first key is consistency. You've got to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And consistency is something that I have always wrestled with because I'm always trying to newt the next best thing, or, you know, I'm going to do this and this, and then I kind of forget it. I mean, even with my podcast, I'm three days late to my podcast because it's supposed to come out on Tuesday. I'm filming this the following Saturday because I have a major conference next week. And then Disney World on vacation, I, I forgot about it. No excuses. You've got to remember no excuses. But if you forget to do something, let yourself off the hook. I used to beat myself up. I'd be like, Karen, you're never going to be successful because you don't have consistency. You don't have the right pattern for success. And so I learned one day, Karen, you're a CEO. You've got here because you know how to do it. You just got to keep doing it. You've got to keep the pattern going. You've got to let yourself off the hook because sometimes I don't care if you're the most organized person. Sometimes life is going to get in your, in your way, especially if you have a business and a full-time job. I mean, I have both running that right now because I love both of them. You know, people keep saying, Karen, my family keeps saying, you got to make a pick here. You're exhausted. And I'm like, but I love them both. So consistency, pick what you can do, pick to do it well and consistently. So if you want a podcast and just pick podcasting, I used to do, and I still kind of do it. Not like I used to, I used to be on LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook page, Facebook group, um, Periscope, now TikTok. I, every, I was on everything plus a group and I just can't manage all of it. So I've made the decision that while I'm kind of out for the next two weeks, I'm going to pick, I love podcasts. So that's in, I love videos. YouTube is in, I love TikTok, TikTok's in, do I keep my free group going or do I let it go? There's all those decisions because in order to be consistent, you can't be all over the board unless you are, that's what you're doing for eight, 10 hours a day. You don't have a side hustle or a full-time job. The second key is discipline. You've got to have the discipline to do it. Now I have to say, I'm a very disciplined person if I'm locked and loaded, but if I'm not, I'm not. And I realized just recently, and the reason, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video today was sometimes I'm disciplined on crazy things, seriously crazy things. Like I drank way too many um, Diet Cokes in my life, way too many. I mean, I would drink five or six um, Route 62s or 64s a day. I was crazy about it. So I decided no more than three a day. And I know a lot of you guys are out there saying, holy crap, three Diet Cokes a day. That's still nuts. That's okay. It's, it's what I want to do. I drink a crap ton of water too, to kind of balance, balance it out. And really most times I only have two. But I was focused on that. And I realized a couple of days ago, you're so disciplined over here that you're exhausted. You can't be disciplined here. So pick the areas where you want to be disciplined. I decided two months ago, I wanted to start losing weight again. I lost 60 pounds. And then for the past couple of years, I've kind of, you know, go back and forth, but I need to lose, in my opinion, 20 to 30 more pounds. So I got locked in on that. And I'm doing a fantastic job, if I must say so myself because I was able to be disciplined, but sometimes I get discipline weary and, or discipline distracted because I'm focused on just doing three Diet Cokes a day, just doing you know these small dumb things that don't matter. Pick two or three things you wanna be disciplined on and don't let discipline distraction get in your way because you can't be disciplined about everything because it's exhausting. Pick the two or three things that are extremely important to you that you're going to commit to do. You know, I'm going to be consistent in my podcast, but if I'm not, if something happens, if life gets in the way, I'm cool. I'll get back and rebuild my discipline. The, the last thing to building a thriving business, and to me, the most important is a burning desire. You've got to know in your heart what you want to do. You, it's got to wake you up in the morning. It's got to keep you up at two in the morning. It's, it's got to be a burning desire. 
I have a burning desire to help women transform their lives, to help women learn how to become happy again, to step into the person they're meant to be, to, to live their best life ever. <clears throat> and that's what I'm called to do. You know, I had somebody tell me years and years, years ago that I, I carry the light of transformation with me. So when people around me, they transform, even if they're not, you know, they don't want to, but because I had such a burning desire, I would go around, you know, do you need help? Do you need help? Do you need help? Can I transfer me, transform you? Hey, you're doing this, you're doing that. And it, it became like my mission to tell everybody if they made this one tweak, they could change their life. And if they followed the tweak, chances are they changed their life, but not everybody's ready, nor does everybody care to listen to Karen Barner tell them. So I had to learn how to have this burning desire, but to put guardrails up. So if you, if you have a burning desire to do something, that's fantastic, but make sure you have guardrails that you're not either, you know, because I ended up coaching so many people for free because I'd be like, well, you know, if you did this and they sit down, well, tell me all about it. I tell them they'd walk away and I think that's two hours. I'm not getting back. I love coaching. So I'm not, I mean, I would still coach. I still coach, you know, people free sometimes <laughs> because it just got too much. I just don't have the time, you know, a lot of time. But I realized that was my calling and you have a unique calling. You have a purpose and not everybody, you know, everybody kind of wrestles. It took me years. People told me since I was a child that I helped people heal. You know, whenever a neighbor in my neighbor, neighbor in my neighborhood would be sick or, you know, they had tragedy in their life, I'd show up and I'd help them do it. And I mean, this was when I'm 10 years old, a neighbor's husband got ran over by a boat, long story there. Um, but alcohol was clearly involved and he was in a hospital for like three or four months and she had little kids. Now I'm 11 or 12, not much going to do with little kids, but she had somebody to talk to because they were new in the neighborhood. They had just moved in like two months before that from a different state. She didn't know anybody, you know, so here's this 11, 12 year old showing up and then she made friends and I just disappeared. But I didn't realize that was my burning desire until I got older. So what is it that you love to do? more than anything in the world, do it. If you stick to these, you know, to the CBD of building a, a business, your business will thrive. Have the discipline to stick to it. And say you have a business and you're like, I can only work on this business one day a week on Saturdays. That's cool. Then just be disciplined about your one day a week on Saturday. And that's okay. Let yourself off the hook. That's great. But if you're going to say, I'm going to do this seven days a week and you do six, congratulate yourself because you're probably doing more than 90% of the people are. You know, I love when I get, when I get clients and they'll be like, um, I can't, I can't seem to make it work. And I'll talk to them and I'll be like, holy crap, you're doing more in your business than 98% of the world's doing out there. And they won't realize it. Give yourself grace, give yourself grace. Give yourself understanding that everything will be well. So, okay, that's all I got. I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Reach out on my different channels. Just remember consistency, discipline, and a burning desire, and you will do well in business. That's the three keys to, to launch a business. If you have any questions, let me know. Reach out to me. I want to help every woman on this planet take their confidence to the next level. I want them to reclaim their confidence and become the powerful woman that you're meant to be, that you'll, that you'll step into your calling and rock it. Hope this helped you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.